Well, good morning, Beaver Dam. It is Pastor Owen coming to you live from Beaver Dam and Rousey's Chapel, and you're joining us for our time of reflections. It's a time where we gather Monday through Thursday to read some scripture together, to spend some time in prayer with the scripture, and then to uh, hear some words from uh, from a devotion book that we've been working our way through based on John Wesley's sermons. So uh, if you happen to be joining us live or throughout the day, I invite you to uh, drop us a line there in the comment box. Let us know that you're out there so that we can, uh, so that we can really be the, the body of Christ, the Christian community. Um, let's see, uh, just a, a little, little housekeeping notes for this week. Um, we will not be having our reflection time on Tuesday or Thursday uh, because I have a couple of uh, personal things I need to attend to first thing in the morning. So uh, we'll be gathering today, uh, or we'll be gathering this week on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. We will have a, a time together on Friday morning uh, to kind of help, um, you know, just to, to, make it, to make it good. So uh, let's go ahead and delve into our text for today. Our reading this morning comes from uh, the Gospel of Luke, and today we find ourselves in chapter 21, verses 34 through 38. And uh, this is Jesus speaking, so uh, let's listen to these words from Jesus this morning. Take care that your hearts aren't dulled by drinking parties, drunkenness, and the anxieties of day-to-day -day life. Don't let, don't let that day fall upon you unexpectedly like a trap. It will come upon everyone who lives on the face of the whole earth. Stay alert at all times, praying that you are strong enough to escape everything that is about to happen and to stand before the human one. Every day Jesus was teaching in the temple but he spent each night on the Mount of Olives. All the people rose early in the morning to hear him in the temple area. Friends, that is the word of God for us, the people of God. Thanks be to God. So our focus verse that we're gonna spend some time in prayer with this morning um, is the 36, uh, verse 36. So uh, let's, uh, let's get ready to go to the Lord in prayer. Uh, leaving time in between the different translation readings for the Holy Spirit to open up the scriptures to us. So let's go to the Lord in prayer this morning. Let's pray. Let's take a couple of deep breaths. Let's try to put aside all of the to-do list for this Monday. Let us focus on the presence of God. Luke chapter 1, verse 36, from the King James Version. Watch ye therefore, and pray always, that ye may be accounted worthy to escape all the things that shall come to pass, and to stand before the Son of Man. From the New Revised Standard Version. Be alert at all times, praying that you may have the strength to escape all these things that will take place and to stand before the Son of Man.
the Common English Translation. Stay alert at all times, praying that you are strong enough to escape everything that is about to happen and to stand before the human one. In the New Living Translation, keep alert at all times and pray that you might be strong enough to escape these coming horrors and stand before the Son of Man. And from the message translation. So whatever you do, don't fall asleep at the wheel. Pray consistently that you will have the strength and the wits to make it through everything that's coming and, the, and end up on your feet before the Son of Man. Amen. Amen. So we are continuing to use our uh, Renew My Heart daily devotion. And the one for today is entitled The Life of God in the Soul. And it does focus in on this on verse 36 from our reading from Luke this morning. So let's hear what Wesley has to say. The life of God in the soul of the believer immediately and necessarily implies a continual action of God upon the soul by the inspiration of God's Holy Spirit and a reaction of the soul upon God by unceasing return of love, prayer, and praise. From this, we may infer the absolute necessity of this continual reaction of the soul upon God in order, to in order to the continuance of the divine life in the soul. It plainly appears that God does not continue to act upon the soul unless the soul continues to react upon God. It is easy to understand how these children of God, David, Barnabas, and Peter, might be moved from their steadfastness, and yet the great truth of God, declared by the Apostle John, remained steadfast and unshaken. They did not keep themselves by, by the grace of God, which was sufficient for each one. Each fell step by step, first into negative inward sin, not stirring up the gift of God which was, with, which was in them, not watching unto prayer, nor pressing on to the mark 
of the prize for this high calling, he went into positive inward sin, inclining to wickedness in his heart, giving way to some evil des desire or temper. Next, he lost his faith, his sight of, pardoning, of a pardoning God, and consequently, his love of God. But then, weak and like all any other men, was capable of committing even outward sin. So that is, uh, that's our reading from Wesley this morning. Um, yeah, I'm not sure... Well, I, I guess I can see where Wesley is coming from here. Wesley is taking uh, this verse, this verse 26, and focusing in on the idea that uh, that Jesus is telling telling his disciples and those gathered around him that we need to be we need to stay alert and we need to uh, continually pray and focus uh, focus on God. So that when things go bad in our lives and in the world around us, that we can, um, that we have the strength that comes from God to withstand it all. Um, Jesus, when he was right, when when he was speaking these words from the from the Gospel of Luke this morning, was actually pointing a little bit more towards the end times. Um, uh, this 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 little section comes right after uh, where Jesus tells the disciples, "Look at the fig tree. You see the fig tree that blooms in the in the spring. You know that summer is coming." And how when he makes a a, a point to uh, or an illustration that um, since the Son of Man or the Son of God was was here on earth that God's kingdom was close at hand and that's what Jesus was getting at here now Wesley took this a little different direction which I don't think is is totally totally out of out of spec but Wesley took it and said look if you're not staying in tune with God um, you're good you're gonna stray away you're gonna sin and um, you just need to be careful about that because we don't want to fall into sin and God. And, but the good news here is that God is always, um, always there, always reaching out and always pulling us back. And that's what, uh, that's what Wesley was even, was even getting at alluding to there. So anyway, uh, that is my, uh, take on the text for today. Um, I will hopefully see you guys on Wednesday morning right here at, uh, eight o'clock here on Facebook, but until then, um, let's close with a word of prayer so we can take on this day. Gracious and loving God, we thank you for this beautiful day. We thank you for hopefully the promise of rain that is coming this week because, uh, we could really use it. We could use just a nice, slow, drenching, drenching rain to to um, to help re-nourish um, all of the grass and trees and flowers. And God, we we just are thankful for your ever abiding presence in our lives. God, it's it's Monday. We've got a week ahead of us, and we don't know what that week entails, but we do know that um, we will try to stay focused on on you that we will pray without ceasing, and that um, we'll try to, to deepen our faith in, in one little way, and we will also keep our eyes open for your activity in our lives. And God, that's what we ask that you open up to us, that you let the Spirit open our eyes and our hearts to seeing your activity in not only the world around us, but in our own personal piece of it. Let us see how your activity or your love is being demonstrated in each one of our lives. God, give us what we need. Give us comfort if we're struggling. Give us peace if we're grieving. And give us the love to share with others same love that you have given us. Lord, we ask for all of these things in Jesus' name. Amen.
Well, friends, uh, remember that this is a day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Go in peace, y'all. Bye for now.